Knox is an action role-playing game developed by Westwood Studios and published by Electronic Arts in 2000 for Microsoft Windows. It details the story of Jack, a young man from Earth who is pulled into a high-fantasy parallel universe and has to defeat the evil sorceress Hecuba and her army of necromancers to return home. Depending on the player's choice of character class at the beginning of the game, the game follows three largely different linear storylines, each leading to its unique ending. In the multiplayer, players can compete against each other in various game modes such as Deathmatch and Capture the Flag, while the freely downloadable expansion pack and OX Quest added a cooperative multiplayer mode. The game was generally well received by critics and the media. Gameplay The player controls Jack from a bleak perspective with the mouse and a number of predefined hotkeys. The line of sight is limited by an innovative and well received fog of war system named True Sight which dynamically blacks out portions of the screen which Jack cannot see from his current position. The single-player campaign consists of multiple locations which Jack must explore, killing enemies and monsters and assisting his allies. Most of the game time is spent in dungeons and wilderness where Jack gathers experience points and collects items such as weapons, armor and spells, which can be equipped, learned, or sold to traders found on several locations throughout the game. The story is told through dialogue with non-player characters, cutscenes using the game engine, and a few pre-rendered full motion videos. Depending on the character class the player selects at the beginning of the game, the style of game play varies greatly. The warrior characters are able to equip nearly all armor and mala copyright e weapons available in the game but cannot use bows, staves, or magical spells. They do have five spell-like special abilities but instead of using up magic points like the other class's spells, they recharge over time. The Conjurer class specializes in conjuration of various monsters found throughout the game, healing himself and his allies, and the use of bows and crossbows. They have a smaller array of spells than wizards but can summon monsters they've learned about from items called Beast Scrolls. Alternatively, they can tame wild animals and monsters into following and fighting for them. The wizard characters are very limited in equipable weapons and armor and have very few hit points but can learn the largest array of magical spells. These are not only useful for killing enemies but also for teleportation, invisibility, and limited healing of themselves and their allies. Owing to its origins as a multiplayer magical combat simulator, the magic system is complex and allows for spell combinations and traps, inspired by magic, the gathering. Weapons in the game come in different varieties and are mostly only equipable by certain classes, most melee weapons and a few ranged weapons can be used only by warriors, bows and crossbows, by conjurers, and many magical staves, by wizards. Some weapons have enchantments on them that add magical bonus to the physical damage they deal to enemies. Armor can also have enchantments on it, protecting the wearer from certain types of harm. With very few exceptions, both weapons and armor wear down when used, so the player must either have them repaired by NPC traders or replace them with new items. At several points of the single-player campaign, non-player characters temporarily follow Jack either to assist him or to be led to safety by him. These NPCs can be neither controlled by the player nor equipped with better items. The multiplayer game types are similar to those found in online first-person shooters, Deathmatch, Capture the Flag, Flagball, King of the Realm, and Elimination. The expansion pack and OX Quest introduced an eponymous cooperative multiplayer mode, wherein a player team must navigate through various locations, killing monsters and looting items. Originally. Westwood ran an online ladder ranking system of Knox multiplayer matches and team-based clan matches, but it has since been closed down. The online services of the game were officially replaced by redirecting to the server portal XWIS maintaining the game's online playability. A feature shared by other Westwood Studios Command and Conquer titles. Plot The backstory of Knox is explained through location loading screens. Some decades before Jack's arrival to the land of Knox, a group of necromancers attempted to seize control over the world but was stopped by the legendary hero Janda wielding an artifact weapon named the Staff of Oblivion. Following the necromancers' defeat, Janda trapped their souls within the magical orb, 
which the arch-wizard Horvath then transported to another dimension later revealed to be modern Earth. One of Chanda's last deeds of the war was saving a female infant he found in the necromancer's lair, unsure what to do with a possible necromancer offspring, he left the girl in the care of an ogre village. He then disassembled the staff and gave each piece to one of the three powerful factions in the game, the Fire Knights of the Fortress Darwan Quarter Enmir, the Wizards of Castle Galava, and the Kundra's Temple of Ix. After this, he assumed the nickname Airship Captain, under which he plays mentor role to the player throughout the game. The game opens with a pre-rendered video of Hecuba, the necromancer girl, who has rediscovered her roots and proclaimed herself the Queen of Necromancers, summoning the orb back from Earth to greatly increase her power. However, her magic also transports the current owner of the artifact, Jack, to the land of Nox. Jack lands on Janda's airship and at this point, the storylines branch, depending on the player's selection of character class. The warriors start the game near the subterranean fortress of Darwan Quarter Enmir. Conjurers, near the village of Ix. And wizards, near the castle Galava. Upon completing one of the storylines, the airship captain's voice during the rolling credits prompts the player to complete the game using another class. Upon reaching Darwan Quarter Enmir, the warrior characters must go through the gauntlet, a labyrinth full of monsters, to prove their skills to the warlord Horrendous and gain the rank of a fire knight. Horrendous then sends the player to the village of Ix to help the conjurers get rid of urchins harassing the settlement. On the way back, Jack runs into some undead and to investigate them, the airship captain transports him to the Field of Valor, the battlefield turned graveyard of the Necromancer War. In the crypts beneath the field, the player first encounters Hikuba and has to fight one of her necromancer henchmen and many undead. Jack exits the crypts to find the nearby city of Bryn devastated by an ogre invasion and is entrusted with rescuing a group of women taken to the ogre village of Grok Tor. Soon, Janda arrives and tells Jack to reassemble the Staff of Oblivion and defeat Hikuba with it. The first part to retrieve is the halberd of horrendous so Jack returns to Darwan Quarter Enmir, now besieged by undead, and witnesses Hecuba killing the warlord. He is able to retrieve the halberd and travels to Castle Galava to collect the second part of the staff, the Heart of Nox, guarded by hostile wizards. The third part is the weirdling, a living creature kept in the Temple of Ix and guarded by powerful monsters. The final part is the orb so Jack has to find his way to the necromancer's land of the dead through Dismal Swamp and upon reassembling the staff, he follows Hecuba to the underworld and defeats her in the final climactic fight. After her death, Jack is immediately transferred back to Earth through a magic portal. The conjurers start the game in the vicinity of the village of Ix. Jack's first tasks are to locate his future mentor Alden and to clear out the same urchin lair as in the warrior storyline. The third task is to rescue the mana mine workers near Ix who were befallen by monsters and scattered. Suspecting Hecuba behind the mana mine incident, the airship captain sends Jack to the field of valor. This part of the game is identical to the warrior's route, except that the conjurer must retrieve the arch wizard Horvath's amulet of teleportation from Grok Tor instead of rescuing Bryn women. Upon retrieving the halberd of late horrendous, Jack travels to Galava to find it overrun by the ogres. Unlike the warrior, the conjurer is assisted by the wizards and Horvath sacrifices himself to let Jack escape a Cuba. Retrieving the weirdling and the rest of the game is identical to the warrior's storyline but the finale is different, using his abilities to possess Hecuba's ogre bodyguards. Jack entraps her soul within the orb and the ending video sees Janda pondering how to transport him back home. The wizard's route begins near the castle Galava and the player is tutored by Archwizard Horvath. The first task is to locate Horvath's missing apprentice whose death prompts the Archwizard to replace him with Jack. Now a wizard apprentice, the protagonist performs multiple duties around Galava, one of which sees him fighting a necromancer. Like in the other two storylines, the airship captain transports Jack to the field of valor after this and the plot remains the same except that Horvath himself must be rescued from the ogre village. Unlike the warrior and the conjurer, however, the wizard has to take the halberd from Horrendous by killing him. 
Jack returns to Castle Galava where Horvath hands him the Heart of Nox before being killed by Hecuba while Jack is teleported by her to the underworld. After escaping it, Jack retrieves the Weirdling and travels to the Land of the Dead like in the other routes. However, the wizard characters receive a twist ending wherein upon being defeated, Hecuba turns into an apparently innocent and amnesiac version of herself. Jack's final words in the game suggest that he stays in the land of Nox with the redeemed Hikuba. Characters, Jack Mower is the protagonist of the game. At the beginning of the story, he lives in a trailer with his girlfriend Tina on Earth and is the owner of the orb. After Hikuba's magic transports him to the land of Nox along with the orb and his TV set, he is tutored by Janda and either Horrendous, Aldin, or Horvath to become the new hero of Nox. In the warrior route, Jack returns to Earth. In the Kundra route, his return home is left uncertain. And in the Wizard route, he stays in Knox. He is voiced by Sam William Scott. Hecuba is the self-proclaimed queen of necromancers and the chief antagonist of the game. Her origins are unknown, as Janda found her in the Land of the Dead after the Necromancer War and left her in care of Anoka village. Her magic summons both the Orb and Jack to the Land of Knox, eventually leading to her demise. Jack kills her in both the warrior and the Kundra roots but as a wizard, he is able to purify her soul, turning her into an innocent and amnesiac version of herself. She is voiced by Joanna Cassidy. Jander alias the airship captain is the legendary hero of the Necromancer War who defeated the Necromancer army with the Staff of Oblivion. After that, he assumed the identity of an eccentric old airship captain, who plays mental role to Jack throughout the game. His real identity is revealed the halfway through the game, when he instructs Jack to reassemble the staff. He is voiced by Alan Oppenheimer. Warlord Horrendous is the leader of the Fire Knights of the Fortress Dar One Quarter Enmir and the guardian of the first piece of the Staff of Oblivion, the Halberd named after him. In the Warrior Route, he tutors Jack for a short time before sending him to the village of Ix. In all storylines, Horrendous is killed before Jack acquires the halberd either by Hecuba or by Jack himself. He is voiced by Mark Rolston. Aldin the Conjurer is the most powerful conjurer in the land of Nox, who briefly tutors Jack in the Kundra route. He is loosely affiliated with the Temple of Ix, where the Weirdling is kept, and lives far to the east of the village of Ix. He is brother of Mordwin the Conjurer. Aldin is voiced by Warren Burton. Horvath the Arch Wizard is the head of the Wizards of Castle Galava, where the Heart of Nox, the second part of the Staff of Oblivion, is kept. He doesn't appear in the Warrior Route but is a prominent figure in the Wizards 1, wherein he first accepts Jack as his apprentice, is then saved by him from the Ogre Village, and finally sacrifices himself to let Jack escape a Cuba. He is voiced by Ian Abercrombie. Morgan Lightfingers is a notorious thief and con artist whom all classes meet under different circumstances, the wizard must capture him early in the game, while the warrior must cooperate with him to escape from Castle Galava prison. To the conjurer, Morgan simply sells a cheap bow. He is voiced by Warren Burton. Mordwin the druggist is Aldin's brother who lives in the Dismal Swamp and appears late in every game route to briefly assist Jack on his quest. He is voiced by Bill Woodson, who also provides the narrator voice in the game. Gearheart is the chief engineer of Dar One Quarter Enmir whose recommendation is necessary for Jack to apply for a Fire Knight rank. He is voiced by Michael S. Booth, who was also the author of the original concept of the game and its lead programmer. Mayor Theogran is the cowardly chief of the village of Ix. He plays a minor role in Warrior and Conjure Roots. He is voiced by Lee Perry. Tina is Jack's girlfriend on Earth who appears in the intro in the Warrior ending video. She is voiced by Susan Chesler. Development The development of the game started in 1995 as a personal project of Michael Booth, the future technical director and lead game play designer of the game. An avid gamer, Booth began programming his own games on Apple II and Commodore VIC-20 computers while still at school, and started working on Knox in a spare bedroom of his house in college. To help produce the game, he co-founded Hyperion Technologies, a company that also worked on driving simulators. After Booth showed a demo of Knox to John Haidt, 
an executive producer of Westwood Studios. At the 1997 Game Developers Conference, Westwood decided to acquire it and move the development team to California. Booth originally envisioned the game as an updated version of Atari's Gauntlet, focusing on real-time magical combat in the vein of Magic, The Gathering and Mortal Kombat. Inspired by the epic wizard battles described in fantasy literature, Booth wanted to create a multiplayer wizard battle game, and decided to set it in a medieval fantasy setting. It wasn't until Westwood started working on the game that it began to lean towards the RPG genre and two more classes and a single-player campaign were added. The game was originally intended to be played with a gamepad, with spells cast by quickly pressing several buttons, inspired by Mortal Kombat's combos, but it was eventually deemed to be a large barrier for new and less dexterous players, and replaced with numeric hotkeys and mouse-controlled movement. The leftovers of this system are however, still seen in the released game in the form of syllables and hand gesture icons accompanying the casting of each spell. The True Sight Vision system has been programmed by Booth early in the development and served as one of the cornerstones of the Gummy Play. The multiplayer modes were inspired by the online first-person shooters, such as Quake and Unreal, both of which the development team played extensively. Marketing the game was one of the most hyped games at E3 1999 and well received by journalists. In particular, they praised the True Sight Vision system, the elegant interface, and the dynamic game world. In October 1999, Westwood began Meet Knox Tour as part of a marketing campaign to raise awareness of the game and receive beta testing feedback. The tour ended shortly before the release of the game and was, according to the executive producer John Hyde, a tremendous success. Reception The game was often compared to Diablo 2, which was released five months after Knox. Based on 33 reviews of Knox, game rankings calculated an aggregate score of 81 out of 100. Legacy Executive producer John Height stated that Westwood was considering an expansion pack and a sequel to Knox. The expansion, titled NOX Quest, was released as a free download on August 1, 2000 and focused on the multiplayer aspects of the game. It included the last patch, updating the game to version 1.2, and featured a number of new spells invented for but not implemented in the original game. A sequel to Nox has never been produced. Shortly after the 1.2 patch release, Westwood Studios lost full rights of Nox to EA, which then took over development. EA chose to no longer support Knox, and the official Westwood servers for Clan, Ladder and Standard Multiplayer were closed, as well as the online ladder ranking system. References External links, Knox at Moby Games